Kitty Crowther, Belgian children's book illustrator. Kitty Crowther is a 50-year-old Belgian illustrator and author of children's literature. She has had her books translated into 20 languages and received exceptional critical acclaim for her work. Though her father was British and her mother Swedish, she was born in Brussels, Belgium, and went on to study graphic arts in the city at the Institute St. Luke. Since her debut in 1994 with My Kingdom, she has written and illustrated over 35 of her own books, as well as illustrating for other writers. Her books are typically originally written in French, but also occasionally in Dutch. An example of her work for others are her lively illustrations for the book Petite's Poems by Carl Noack. Kitty received her first award in 1997 for the book Mon Ami Jim from the jury of the Golden Stylus, a high-caliber children and teens literature award in the Netherlands. This streak continued into the 2000s, claiming two more awards before 2005. She was granted her most notable award in 2010 when she received an Astrid Lindgren Memorial Award from the Swedish Arts Council for her contributions to the art of children's literature throughout her career. In an interview, Kitty mentioned she was a very lonely child and found solace in books through paper friends. It is important for her when writing to have a respect for children and believes that stories with strange and difficult difficult topics should be available, even if adults may be bemused by their child's choices. Kitty struggled a lot in school due to her hearing problems as they were not severe enough for her to go to a specialised school. She was left feeling like an outcast in mainstream education and from a young age thought that she should be an artist as drawings do not need sound. Crowther has a very strong and unique style, which I was instantly fond of since discovering her work. Rich and careful backdrops carry the mood of her pieces, which are brought to life by harmonious colour. Her work has immense variety. For example, the forest from La Font Racine has a completely different atmosphere to the ocean in Mon Ami Jim. The yellows and dark browns of Lafont's sobering woods feel miles away from the gentle pale blues of Jim's landscape. These vibrant settings give the impression that her characters inhabit a wider space, that these environments continue when I take my eyes away from them. From learning about Crowther, it appears that this is less of a stylistic choice and more of a fundamental component to her work. Crowther believes that her stories are their own entities and they choose her, not the other way around. With a keen eye and a respect for the lives of her well-rounded characters, Kitty is able to blend fantastical landscapes with grounded themes. Mama Medusa is a recent tale about a jellyfish woman and her child. The book is centrally about love and motherhood, though when creating the tale, Kitty took inspiration from the Greek myths about Medusa, stories which feature rape and murder. The book itself is appropriate for children, yet when reading it's clear how Kitty's confidence in taking inspiration from these dramatic sources leads to a story with depth and originality. I enjoy how this creates a parallel with Kitty's ethos. She wants to see a vast array of books for children to read, and she is busy creating it. After winning the Astrid Lindgren Prize, Kitty travelled all over the world, but she sometimes felt it was too much. She regards highly her time to do nothing, to spend time listening. She marvels at nature and currently lives close to the countryside. She feels that nature is a sacred guest in her work. These observational outings are reflected in the landscape of her book, Stories of the Night, where dense trees and unusual plants dwarf the characters. These illustrations are my particular favourite. The colours are so rich and unrealistic that the forest bursts with unknown possibilities. When creating sketches to reform my response piece, I tried to focus on nature so my muse would be similar to Crowther's. It was liberating to work with coloured pencil. Working with countless bright colours made my sketches feel childlike and playful. My plan for my final response piece is to reference some pictures I took of my girlfriend a few weeks ago at a nature reserve to create a mock storybook illustration. I'm excited to experiment with various colour combinations to bring some life and personality to a wet day in the countryside. Crowther's work is charming, vibrant and eccentric. 
I adore how her peculiar illustrations represent her individual take on the world, creating art that can be appreciated by any age group.